Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. I welcome you all to today's daily quiz video. I also hope that by now all of you are already a part of our Telegram channel. If you have still not joined this for any reason whatsoever, you can click on the link given in the description of the video to become a part of the channel and get all the latest current affairs updates about the UPSC examination. Now let's begin with question number one on your screen. Consider the following statements with regards to measles. Number one, India successfully eliminated measles in 2019. Second, Measles is a highly contagious viral disease and is a cause of death among young children globally. Third, absence of any vaccine is a major cause of high deaths due to measles. Which of these given statements is or are correct? If you look at it carefully, first statement is wrong because India is still battling many, many measles cases. Third is also wrong. We actually do have vaccines for measles as well. Only the second statement is correct. The answer has to be A. One statement is correct. The reason why we are discussing this question is because of this article in the editorial section of the Indian Express, which talks about the recent measles outbreak in Mumbai, actually, that has raised concerns in the entire country. In fact, Mumbai has reported 200 cases in the last two months and 13 children have lost their lives already. That is why the government of India is now focusing on ensuring that all the eligible children get vaccines against measles in Mumbai. Public health professionals, ASHA workers, etc. now have to fight against the vaccine hesitancy if there is in any part of the country. WHO, UNICEF both have shown that vaccination against measles and these kind of diseases have hit a low in the mid-income nations, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Next question number two. Consider the following statements with regards to CDRI, that is Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure. First, it is the government of India's second major global initiative after International Solar Alliance and it demonstrated India's leadership in climate change and disaster resilience issues. Second, it was launched in 2019. Third, the CDRI Secretariat is based in New Delhi, India. Which of these given statements is or are correct? The correct answer here is D. All the three given statements about the CDRI, Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, are correct. This is an article from the Hindu newspaper today that talks about India's role in taking the world forward to fight against climate change. It talks about the Coalition for Disaster Resilient Infrastructure, which was founded by India to promote the resilience of new and existing infrastructure systems against the threats of climate change. This has now become an international organization with support from multinational organizations and the UN as well thus increasing India's global stature in the fight against climate change. Next question number three. Consider the following statements with regards to the earthquakes. Number one, Vadati Benioff zone is a zone of subduction along which earthquakes are common which are produced by interaction of downgoing oceanic crustal plate against a continental plate. Second, the Alpine earthquake belt extends from Java to Sumatra through the Himalayas, Mediterranean and out into the Atlantic. Third, most of the mid-Atlantic ridge is deep underwater and far from human development. Which of these given statements is or are correct? All the three given statements are correct about the earthquakes. As you know, earthquake recently hit Indonesia and the Solomon Islands. Now, there have been a lot of articles written about it. As you know, Indonesia lies in the Pacific Ring of Fire, which has most of the active volcanoes around the world. But apart from that also, there are certain other earthquake belts around the world, like the Alpide Earthquake Belt, which had about 17% of the world's active volcanoes. Then we also have the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The good part is, this is far away from human population mainly. Now the interesting part about this Indonesia earthquake was, if you look at the reading at the Richter scale, you will find out it was only 5.6, which is not very high, but still it caused a lot of destruction. Now as per the experts, the reason is that the place where the earthquake actually started, the epicenter, was not very, very deep down. It was a very shallow earthquake in the sense that the place where the earthquake started was actually only at a depth of 10 kilometers. Thus, it caused a lot of destruction. So don't think that only a higher reading on the Richter scale would actually lead to more destruction. Destruction can be due to various, various reasons as we have seen in Indonesia now. Question number four. Manx, recently seen in the news, refers to a recently found dinosaur fossil in Nairobi, an ancient language, SpaceX upcoming mission to land on an asteroid, or India's underwater vessel to explore the deep ocean. The correct answer is B. 
Manx is actually an ancient language that is covered in this article of the Indian Express newspaper. That is, an ancient language which has already been declared dead is now coming back making an appearance again in Britain's Isle of Town. Now, in the past few years, we have seen a lot of languages that were extinct earlier coming back and people now reviving interest in that. About a decade ago, UNESCO declared the language as extinct and the students who were studying at the school in this language took a strong exception and to take the case forward, they even wrote a letter to the UN body in that language that is Manx. Now, this Manx language is now being seen where people are making signs, writing slogans in this language only. Thus, it has actually made a comeback from the brink. For many, many centuries, Manx was a language in which the Celtic people, people living in Ireland and Scotland, used to communicate in their everyday life. But from the 19th century onwards, it was the English language that took over all that communication. Next is a previous year question from 2017. Which principle amongst the following was added to the director principles of the state policy by the 42nd Amendment to the Constitution? Equal pay for equal work for both men and women. Participation of workers in management of industry, right of work, education and public assistance or securing living wage and human conditions of work to workers. The correct answer here would be B. This was added later on by the 42nd Amendment Act of 1976 to ensure participation of workers in the management of industries. In fact, the same amendment added multiple other dietary principles as well as you can see here. This includes securing opportunities for healthy development of children promotion equal justice and to provide free legal aid to the poor, to take steps to secure participation of workers in the management of industries and to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard forest and wildlife. Next, we want to discuss a fact of the day and today we want to discuss about the Prevention of Cruelty Act. The reason why this is in the news is that the centre government has proposed to do a complete overhaul of this 1960 Act by having 61 amendments. That includes having a three-year jail term for someone who displays gruesome cruelty and also for this purpose a draft prevention of cruelty to animals amendment bill has already been prepared by the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy. Now the main changes that have been proposed in this bill is about stringent punishments to be given. Sentences have also been made cognizable meaning that the arrest can be made without a warrant as well. It also proposes a fine of 50,000 to 75,000 rupees if you cause extreme pain or suffering to any of the animals. Now, there are multiple arguments given in order to strengthen the law. For example, in September, in Rajasthan, there was a case when a doctor tied a dog to his car and dragged it across the entire city. Thus, the dog fractured a leg and also suffered various bruises. These kind of issues, unfortunately, have become more and more common. The bad part is, in the earlier law, First time offenders were only asked to pay a fine of 10 to 50 rupees. This is almost next to nothing. That is why since 2014 there have been calls for amendment. In 2014 the Supreme Court in the Animal Welfare Board case of India said that parliament is expected to make proper amendments to this law and give it a much much harder deterrent. In 2020 also a bill was introduced in the parliament but could not pass. But now these changes in the bill may pass in the upcoming session of the parliament. This is it for today's daily quiz video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.